Hello, everybody. John Blake passed away, the former Oklahoma player, assistant coach, and eventually head football coach in the mid-1990s, died of a heart attack while walking on Thursday morning, July 23rd. John Blake was only 59 years old, to state the obvious, gone too soon. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family, his loved ones. John Blake again did at the age of 59. Now, if you're from the newer Sooner generation, and you may not be too familiar with the name John Blake, he was the head football coach at the University of Oklahoma before Bob Stoops. Of course, long before we ever knew John Blake as a coach, we knew him as a player. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, he was a pretty good nose guard under those Barry Switzer teams. In fact, Oklahoma won the Big 8 championship in both 79 and 80. So a couple of Big 8 rings, of course, Big 8 long before there was ever a Big 12 conference. But John Blake would not stop there. He would become an assistant coach uh, later on for Oklahoma and various other places, including the Dallas Cowboys, 1993 through 1995. That meant that Blake in 1994 was reunited with his former boss, Barry Switzer. And then Switzer took over in 94 after Jimmy Johnson, of course. That meant that Blake as a defensive line coach won a couple of Super Bowl rings, Super Bowl 28 and Super Bowl 30. In 1996, John Blake not only became the first African-American head football coach at the University of Oklahoma, but also became the first African-American head football coach of any sport at the University of Oklahoma. A couple of highlights during the Blake coaching career at um, OU from 96 to 98. The very first year, the very first win. An upset win against Texas in Dallas. James Allen with the game-winning touchdown and a very emotional John Blake after the game. I can still remember uh, to this day. That Texas team, by the way, turned out to be pretty good. Texas won the Big 12 that year, and it was the first year of the Big 12. That's right. The inaugural year of the Big 12 was 1996, and Texas won the title, but OU beat them in the regular season. Then later on, a thrilling win over Syracuse for John Blake's team. High-scoring game in Norman. Sooners prevail in the end. It was close, but the Sooners got him. Of course, that game sticks out to me because Syracuse – had Donovan McNabb, who turned out to be a pretty good NFL quarterback, spending many of his years with the Philadelphia Eagles, guiding the Eagles to a Super Bowl appearance. But when it comes to the head coaching era, though, of John Blake, I'm not going to lie to you, it wasn't up there with Switzers or Stoops or even Gary Gibbs, for that matter. Um, the Sooners struggled. They only won three games his first year. They did show progression each and every year after that. Of course, that first year they lost to Tulsa, which I still think is maybe the most embarrassing loss Oklahoma ever suffered, um, at least in my memory. But the Sooners did show progression from year one to year three. They went five and six in 1998, but patience was wearing thin with the Sooner hierarchies, and Blake uh, was fired. Bob Stoops, of course, took over um, in 1999, and the rest is history. The Sooners haven't had a losing season ever since, and they've gone to a bowl game. Uh, for 21 consecutive seasons. The 2000 team won the national championship, as you might remember, 13-0. Who do I give a good chunk of credit to for that 2000 national championship? John Blake. And I'm going to tell you why. Of the 22 starters on that 2000 national championship team, that team that beat Florida State, despite being a double-digit underdog, beating a pretty good Kansas State team twice that year, beating Nebraska when they were number one, and beating Texas by 49 points. That OU 2000 National Championship team that went undefeated, I give John Blake a good chunk of that credit. Because of the 22 starters, 12 of them came from the John Blake era. Blake was largely responsible for over half of those starters in that 2000 National Championship team, even though his head coaching career had already been long gone. 12 of the 22 starters, including Rocky Kalmus, a Buckus Award winner, and of course, one heck of a defensive back, one of the best college defensive backs I ever saw, who had a pretty good career, by the way, for the Dallas Cowboys, Roy Williams. You know, just to name a couple. 12 of the 22 starters from that national championship team in 2000 credit John Blake. He knew how to recruit. And again, that 2000 team, um, one of the best college football teams, you know, ever, in my opinion, John Blake played a big role in that talent. Later on, uh, Blake would not stop coaching. He would become an assistant coach for a brief period of time with Nebraska, other places as well, including the NFL for a brief uh, stint with the Buffalo Bills. Again, thoughts and prayers going to the uh, family and loved ones 
of uh, John Blake, true Oklahoma Sooner. Boomer Sooner. <laughs>